Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and my coffee cup. And today we have some berries tea from Ireland. I love this tea. Um, and my crazy hair, it's getting long. So now my curls are all coming out. Spoiler, I have wavy hair when it's long. Mm, I love that tea. Okay, got a Dollar Tree haul for you. But first I wanted to show you some stickers, some more of the stickers I got and share a coupon code with you. If so you remember, I had ordered this one, the Dunkin' Donuts, and I ordered this one, and then I was sent the watermelon and the little raccoon, and these come from JW Sticker Shock. Sticker Shop. And she is a daughter of a friend of mine, and she's local and has a store on Etsy and does ship. So she sent me some stickers to show you. Look at that one, it's a hanging plant. And a cactus, well look at the little cactus in the background. A really fun rainbow, a succulent. This one I love, it's like a nighttime with the moon. And these are all custom made by her. And that's her cat, I think Carl on a laptop. Oh, so cute. She offered us a coupon code and it's Lori15. I'll put it on the screen. Lori15 and her shop is jwstickershop.etsy.com. I will link it down below and you get 15% off. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoy them. I love stickers. Guys, I found some fun stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, some, you know, old standbys, but they also got some fun stuff. So we'll, in no particular order, but I got a new broom. <laughs> I will tell you, these are great. Um, they do come, they're two pieces, so it's $2. And I just dropped something down on my lap. Oh, here we go. Oh, just a little piece of trash. I had one of these in my garage and I accidentally broke the handle. Now ask me why I threw the whole thing away when I could unscrew the broom. I don't know, but I like this one. This bristle is pretty stiff. I like this for my garage and they work really well if you don't drop a ladder on them because these will break. They, you know, they're hollow, but for $2, it's fantastic. So I got that. I'll show some candy. So, you know, I just got back from backpacking. Well, I was talking to my cousin and I think we're gonna go tent camping, like car camping this summer and do some backpacking. So while I was at the Dollar Tree, I picked up some of these Hershey's and I like that they're individual bars. So I can open this up, put them in baggies and just throw them in the cooler. And they'll do, you know, each little bar will make one s'more for the girls. Cause I will probably be two girls with us and Debbie, my cousin, and me. So I thought these would be perfect size. Plus we can throw them in their bags if they want to take a couple backpacking with us. Um, Abby really liked these. These are the um, Haribo Sour Streamers. Um, she really liked these and I told her I'd pick them up for her again. So I will give those to her. And then cousin Debbie, she loves some, some bubble, double bubble. And this is strawberry and watermelon. So I just grabbed her bag. I thought she would enjoy it. So I think that's it for food, for food items. So let's, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I need to get this out of the way so I don't kick it across the room. Um, in the housewares section, they have the lemons back. I really enjoy this size. So I grabbed two. I have a basket in my kitchen that's full of lemons and it was a little, you know, I think it can just use some more. And these are great. And I feel like you could cut these in half too if you wanted to like glue them onto something, but they are life size. And I think they're plastic, maybe styrofoam, maybe styrofoam. Anyway, I grabbed two packs just because I saw them. Nothing really exciting there. And I don't really have a big haul just for the record, but I got some of this. This is luminescence. This is eucalyptus fragrance oil. I don't know how well it smells. I've never purchased the fragrance oil before. But, ooh, it's sticky. Smells like eucalyptus. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pour this into my um, wax melt 
and see if it makes my bathroom smell good, but we're not gonna do that now because it's all over my hands. Okay, just so you know, it gets leaky in here. Excuse me, I'm tired this week, guys. Uh, boring stuff, I picked up some of these, which are great. Um, yeah, typically in the summer, I like to make like um, stuff to give away. So last week, Sarah broke her foot, my niece, so I had to take her some food. I mean, I didn't have to, but I wanted to to make sure she had food. She's in a boot, so it's gonna be a little hard for her to cook, so I was trying to help. But these containers are great for stuff like that. This will probably end up being used for camping and fill these with like watermelon. You can fill them with fruits and vegetables and the lids stay on. So when they're in your cooler and you want something, you can just take it out and grab it. Um, and I think they're watertight. So I grabbed two of those and same thing. I grabbed two packs of these and these are called meal prep containers, but Honestly, they would work great for packing your lunch or again, if you're gonna be doing stuff out of doors this summer, um, like picnicking, this would be great to pack a couple picnic lunches in and just drop them in a cooler. So I, I bought these for that for the summertime because I feel, I feel like I'll be out and about a lot this summer with my kayak, biking, backpacking, outdoors. And I always, you know, like containers that I can take along, but if they get ruined or if they get out in the sun too long, I don't have to worry about just throwing them away, to be honest with you. And these are also great for soups. This, this specific container, they hold 4.25 cups or 34 fluid ounces. So that's really a nice container for that. Um, some more boring stuff, I grab peroxide. I am going to, and I will bring you along if you're interested, I'm gonna learn or try reverse tie-dye. So I feel like I have to go in my closet and look, but I have Dollar Tree tie-dye. Um, but I bought a black shirt at Goodwill and I'm gonna try bleaching it and then dyeing where the bleach was. So I needed peroxide because who knew peroxide neutralizes bleach and makes it stop bleaching. So I needed a bottle um, I don't need this whole bottle, but it was a dollar, so I just bought this whole bottle because I saw it when I was there. Um, I know I said I do not love these flip-flops, which I don't. However, if we're going camping, they're fantastic for the shower. Now, if you have a wider foot, I recommend buying the men's. So this is a men's small and they're wider and so these don't hit me in that same spot. I had them on for a little while and they didn't hurt. Um, but even if they did, I'm literally gonna wear these at camp in the shower and then probably toss them because, you know, I only need them to keep my feet from getting cooties from other people's naked feet. And they're great to like wear to the shower house and wear at night if you have to go to the bathroom, you know, you gotta have something on your feet. And these are great just to leave outside your tent. Um, but like I was saying, if you have a wider foot, like I do, pick up the men's in a small, if you wear a women's like eight or nine, the small men's six to seven will fit you. So I grab just a pair to have for the summer camping. Um, I also picked up these waxed paper basket liners, not for the baskets, but again, packing my lunch. This makes it great to like wrap a sandwich in or package up whatever you're eating, put them in a zip bag and it just keeps things tidy. And then, you know, they're cute. And you get 15 sheets of this wax. It's waxed paper. So it definitely is not something you wanna bake on or put in the oven or the microwave because the wax will melt. But it's fantastic to wrap up a bunch of sandwiches and put them in one, one baggie. And then you're not wasting all those baggies and it is paper, so this is biodegradable. Um, so just a little, little something something for you. So if you had a bunch of people, let's say you're making 15 turkey sandwiches and you can just wrap each one in a piece of wax paper and then stick them all in one container and now you have lunch for everybody. I just think these are a great idea. So I grabbed just one pack of those that should get me through the summer because it's just me. Now for my, I'm trying to find it, for my surprise 
planner box for next year. I found that these were running low, so I grabbed just one more. And if you don't know what these are, these are right on removable tabs. So if you buy a notebook and then you want sections, you can use these tabs right on this, what they are. And then this lifts up, it's like a post-it and it will go from page, you know, put it on a page, but if you need more, you can move it. And that's great because I like to have my things separated. I already bought one pack, but I thought I would just grab one more pack and stick it in my box for my planner for next year. Because I don't need stuff for this year. Um, one more kitchen item I picked up with this ice cube tray and the pineapples because isn't this completely adorable you can do ice in here um you can do butter like if you're having a cookout let's say you're gonna have corn on the cob you could do little pats of butter and what i've done before soften the butter whip it up and pipe it into here and then put it in the refrigerator and let it get really firm and then pop them out and you would have little pineapple shaped butters um you can make candy in here you can make chocolates it is silicone but what I will probably, I think it's silicone, BPA free. But what I will most likely do is make some like crystal light ice cubes to put in with maybe like a diet Sprite. And then you put flavored ice cubes in and when they melt, they start flavoring your water. So I thought that would be kind of fun. They had it in pineapple, in seashell and flamingo. So I grabbed one of those. This is going to be a quick video this week, guys. I found a pen because look, it's a, a wind spinner, a pinwheel. I just thought it was super cute. I'm going to probably just put it on my desk for spring. I'll take off the sticker. And yeah, I don't know what it writes. I'll write on my hand. Oh, maybe. It's black ink, in case you needed to know. So I grabbed one of those just because I thought it was cute. You know, we need those things. Um, in the makeup section, I found Wet n Wild Mega Glow Face Mist. Um, I don't typically wear a lot of makeup, but this is more of a moisture face mist and I thought this would be great. It is limited edition. I think it's cruelty free. Not 100% on that. But it's an aura booster. I don't even know what that means. I can open it if we like and spritz my hand with it. I think it just gives you like a little bit of a glow. But let's take it apart. It only has um, one fluid ounce. Feels like it's moisturizing. Oh, there's like a little bit of an oil to it. So it makes you have like that natural glow. Like you're not sweating, but you're glowing. <laughs> there's the pen. But it feels like moisturizing. Oh, I'm gonna like that this summer, especially coming in after the sun. You know, get a shower, mist yourself down with it. I think even though I wear sunblock all the time, I think this would be a great moisture addition after sun. <laughs> So maybe if I see some more, I'll grab another one. I, I only bought the one. But yeah, I don't think this is makeup at all. Could you use it under or over makeup? Absolutely. But do you have to? No, it just gives you a little glow. Fun. I like that. Um, and then I found this. It's shaving soap with aloe and shea butter, aloe and shea butter, and it's just a sponge impregnated with soap and you use it when you're shaving your legs. Um, it says exfoliate. So use the textured side to exfoliate and prep the skin for shaving. There's a moisture side to massage and lather the legs and shave. Use your razor to easily glide over the skin. So it gets rid of like your dead skin cells. I think the white side is the exfoliating, the purple side is the moisturizing, and how fun. I mean, this is great. And the brand is Spongibles, it is the brand, not a Greenbrier, so it may not be in all of our stores, but if you see it, and then it smells like lavender. So that'd be great for summer. Dry skin, you know, it helps get that off. That is always important to me anyway. 
Um, just got a couple things left. I found some fun baskets. I really like these. And let me tell you, they are sturdy. They are Greenbrier. Now, I feel like I saw them over the, the winter in white with the black up here. This time they came out in gray and pink, but I'm using these two shapes in my refrigerator. So I think I'm gonna put like cold lunch meats on this one so I can see it. And then I buy a lot of like string cheese, baby bell cheese, and I can open them up and just fill this so I can just reach in and grab one. I like to have my stuff separated. It's just me around here. But if you got kids, you can fill snacks, juice boxes, Capri Suns, and then things can slide in and out. And if they spill something or if something gets sticky, it stays in here and not on your refrigerator. That's what I like about these. And I like to this size will fit great in my refrigerator. I can also use this for other items, but my thought was, you know, I could just reach in and put my cheeses and things like that in there. And then my lunch meats in here. So I grabbed that. All right, I have two fantastical things, three fantastical things left. Number one, what the heck is this? This is a giant red Solo cup, guys. This is the quintessential summer cup giant. I mean, it's, I put the stuff in a shake upstairs. This is huge. I mean, I don't know if it, it is double wall. It's thick. It's pretty sturdy, sturdy. I mean, you could use it for a serving vessel as a joke, put drink, cold drinks in it, take to the pool, fill it with ice. You could put some beverages in it, put it outside. Heck, you can make a planter if you want. You can put something on the front. I just thought it was hysterical. And I needed it in my life because red solo cup. And they had it in blue as well, but I needed the, the red. So I grabbed one of those. Um, hold on to your hat because I found some gnomes. What the heck? Look at him. They're like little Memorial 4th of July summer gnomes. And this one says, welcome. And there was a third one, but he was going. I know, right? And they're planters, but you could easily just pluck this off the back, like pull this down, take this off, put these on a wreath. You could put them anywhere. They do not have to be just out of doors. Guys, I am in love. I was so excited. Now, they were in mixed, they were mixed in with a whole bunch. They had stars, they had gnomes, and I think they had like flowers, but they were all red, white, and blue. I love them. So I just grabbed one of each. No need to be excessive, right? Now, the last thing I found, I might've squealed when I saw these and grabbed two. What the heck? It's like a candy counter container. And I know in the party section, they sell the little scoops. Now, the one thing is this lid, it does not, it just sits there. This is not gonna be airtight or anything of that nature. But I will tell you, I already know what I'm doing with it. So I bought two because I'm gonna make for Sarah her advent calendar in this this year. So in the morning, she could just reach in and get, I don't know what I'm putting in it yet, but I can totally tell you what, that this is going to be her advent for this year. And I can crick it around here, put Merry Christmas, whatever. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Mother's Day. Put it on the counter and fill it with candy for your kids. But like I said, it does not have any type of suction or anything like that it's just tape catching it so it will literally the lid just it just sits on there it is truly for looks there's really no substance to this so I wouldn't say it would work for like if you were truly trying to keep like unwrapped candy or anything like that fresh but it will um, do its job for me because I will have little individually wrapped things in here and I cannot wait for Christmas now because I always start thinking early. And the other thing, they finally have the stickers that don't stick, that come right off. I'm taking the bottom one off while we talk, um, which makes my life a little easier. So like I said, I walked in and there was a big old box of these on the floor right by the entrance. So I just grabbed two. I think there was a couple left. 
because this is not going to stick around long guys and I think it is pretty cool and it's big if you if you had like a Halloween party or whatever any kind of party you want you could put favors or if you are having like a shower or a wedding and you have a candy bar like this would be perfect for that type of a situation so guys that's everything that is my Dollar Tree haul this week I'm hoping next week they have to find some better stuff and they're just kind of a little slow right now with the bringing in new items but you know it's still early in the season we have summer coming so I'm kind of excited for all that So, if you haven't already, if you would like, subscribe, leave a comment below what was your favorite item, I will be happy to get back to you. All right, everybody, you have a great day, and I will talk with you later. Bye!